Welcome to the Rearranging the Formula lesson, practicing one of the math skills that are needed in biology. So before you start, just make sure you've got your biology exercise book and pen. So you'll need to make a note of any of the example questions that I go through with you, but also there'll be some questions that you'll need to have a go at yourself and you'll need to mark them as you go. So that's what you'll need to hand in as your homework from this session. You can also pause the video to um, go slower at your own pace or rewind just to cover some of the previous content. You will need to pause the video at certain points so you do have a chance to have a go at the questions. If you haven't already turned the sound on, make sure you have got the sound on and maybe rewind just to listen to those earlier instructions. So first thing is just a reminder of what you would have covered in maths before, and that is how to balance. So we've got an example here with shapes and we've got our balance or your seesaw. And the first question that I'm gonna go through with you is, how could we remove this circle here, but make sure that this still remains balanced? So the key thing you have to remember is whatever you do on one side, you have to do to the other side and that's how you'll keep it balanced. So for this side, we said we want to remove this circle. So we've got a plus circle. So to get rid of it, we do the opposite, minus circle. We have to do that on both sides to keep it balanced. So that then means we lose that circle and we'll lose one circle on this side. And now it's balanced. So another example, this time similar, but to get rid of this minus circle, same idea, whatever you do on this side, you have to do the same on the other. So to remove this negative circle, we need to add a positive circle to cancel out those two signs. That means we also have to add a circle onto the other side to keep it balanced. So we lose this circle because we've canceled them out and you gain a circle on this side. One final example that I'm gonna go through with you, and I'm gonna go through it answering it a little bit slower so you can have a go as well before I go through the answers. So this time we have got a division symbol, so divide by a circle, but again, we want to remove this circle whilst keeping this equation balanced. So same idea, whatever you do on one side, you have to do the same on the other. So if we've got divide by a circle, have a think what we need to do to get rid of this circle. So hopefully you've said you need to multiply and then again, to keep it balanced, you need to multiply on the other side. So those two sides will cancel out and we'll lose that circle, but we'll gain a times circle or multiply it by a circle on the other side. Now this idea we've just done with shapes is the same whether it's numbers, letters, or more relevant to science, actual words. So we're now gonna apply this idea to rearrange a formula. So this is the idea of making something the subject of a formula. So you have to rearrange the formula to put whatever you want to be the subject at the front of the equal sign. So we're gonna do one example together, making N the subject. Same idea though, whatever you do on this side, you'd have to do on the other side, so it has to stay balanced. So we want to have N as the subject, so N by itself. One thing to bear in mind is, we will need to get rid of that multiply by two onto this side. And it's the same idea. Imagine this invisible line with equal sign. If we've got times two, to move it to the other side, we need to do the inverse. So multiply, the inverse is divide. Addition, the inverse is subtraction. So if we wanna get rid of this two onto the other side, this times two, moving it to the other side, it becomes divide by two. So we then have this, and the final step isn't actually something you have to do, but just to make it easier to read sometimes, you can flip it round, and then you have n equals x plus y divided by two, 
and you have made n the subject of the formula. So to apply this to a science example, not just biology, we've got some physics in here as well. Here we've got some formulas and you need to stay away from using those triangles which just you cover your hand on one part to work out what it is. Because if you can learn how to rearrange the formula, you can do it without a triangle, you can do it for anything you're given. So pause the video and have a go at these four examples in your book. So write out the original, write out the question, so for number one, make distance the subject of the formula, and then write out the answer with your workings. So pause now. Okay, so let's have a look and make sure you mark as you go through. So making distance a subject, you should have got distance equals speed times time. To make magnification subject, image divided by actual. Gravity equals weight divided by mass. And then the hard one, because so there are more elements to it, and you had to the power of two, which we hadn't talked about the inverse being square root, but you should know that from maths. So if you did get onto the extension, well done. And if you did get this as your answer, velocity equals the square root of kinetic energy divided by a half times mass. So that's all there is to it, rearranging the formula. And you'll need to remember all of this knowledge and bring in these notes to your lesson. And you'll be using this particular skill in your next biology lesson.